Wanna move my feet? Wanna do my one? Hi everyone, I've got exciting kind of low impact cardio to get that heart rate going, to get the metabolism burning. We're going to be doing a bar fusion workout with no bar, so it's just like a lot of standing Pilates that gets that heart rate going. So grab your mat, you don't need any props at all, and come join me. Alright everyone, we're going to start standing today, we're going to get that heart rate elevated, so I hope you've got some water close by to you. So let's get going. First we're going to stand in our hip width apart, rolling those shoulders back, lengthening up through the crown of the head. We're just going to rock forward and back, finding our grounding. Once that we're there, we're going to come and start adding that little squat and lift up. As we squat down and as we lift, we're going to add that little releve when you're ready. So as we squat back, we want to pretend like we're sitting on a little chair. We want to make sure those knees aren't going over the toes. We want to make sure that rib cage isn't pressing out. You want to think about that rib to hip connection to have those deep core muscles going. Alrighty, and I want energy through the arse. Think about pressing out through those fingertips. So sitting down and lifting up. Nice, as you get a little bit warmer, you can get a little bit lower. Now you don't need to add that releve if you don't want to. Sink back. Squeeze the glutes up. Beautiful, let's do one more. Sinking down, lifting up. Now can you hold there for me? Oh, I'm checking my balance. Now I can feel me, me, feel my feet, one roll up to the side feet. Now try and draw that weight into the big ball of that toe. Then you can feel that inner thigh engage the pelvic floor. Can we lift those arms up above the head? Beautiful, drop the shoulders down. Let's hold for three, two, one. This time, we're going to squat down, rotate, squat down and rotate. So we're warming up that thoracic spine, getting that mobilization in, at the same time working the waistline. Inhale, exhale. This is a great one to do first thing in the morning, to wake up that body, get the cricks and cracks out. Nice work. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Bring that back to centre. We're just going to march those feet. Let's bring our hands out, out to the front. And we're trying to lift those knees to those wrists. This is a nice big march. Right, right now we're warming up those lower abdominals, engaging through that core. Doesn't feel like much, but you are. Let's go for three, two, and last one here. We're going to bring that arm across and connect and reach. So now we've got the balance going. We've got that lateral work going through the core. Beautiful, so connect the knee and elbow and reach. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Can we hold it out there? Bring that hand on the hip, so I'm slightly leaning, slight bend of that knee, lift and lower that leg. Now if you need a bar, you can grab a bar. Your bar might be your chair, might be your wall, a window ledge, whatever you need. So we've got a slight bend here in this knee. I'm still thinking about rib to hip connection. So my ribs aren't flaring out, I'm not making that little arch in the back of my back. Beautiful, tap and lift, I'm thinking about activating through that quad. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Beautiful work, switching to the other side. So we're reaching across, reaching across. Connecting those knees to elbows. Let's go for three, two, one, hold it out, slight bend on that knee, lower and lift. Waking up all those stabilization muscles, getting that core going, feeling that inner thigh and outer thigh working. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it nice now to that beautiful sumo for me. And we're sinking down, so we're in that little plie squat. We're plieing down and lifting up. That's it. So once again, my knees are going to the corner of the room to the mat, shoulders down, ribs are in. I'm trying to get nice and low. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three, two, last one, hold it down, rotate here. Like we're doing before that squat, but we're holding in that beautiful plie. So I'm thinking about tailbone to the mat, and I'm following my gaze to my back hand. It gets a little bit more rotational work in, from the belly button, working that waistline. Inhale and exhale. Back to center, bring it down for me. We're gonna walk through those ankles. That's it, we're just rolling through, moving through all the movement, keeping you nice and busy, keeping that body moving. Inhaling, 
Exhale, hope you've got some fun music going on in the background. You can dance away to it, add your own little flair, your own little movements. Beautiful, hold down. Can we lift one up? So I've got my left ankle up and a little releve and I'm pulsing here. Little pulses in that little releve. Nice work, so you should feel the loading right here in this quad. Let's go for three, two, one, transfer. Pulse it down. Now if you want, you can add ankle weights, you can have little light hand weights here to intensify anything. That's up to you and how you're feeling today. Let's go for three, two, one, hold. You can come back both ankles up into a little releve, arms up above the head, sink a little lower, and hold. For five, four, three, two, one, and lift up here. We're gonna rotate and soar off that little toe and back up. Rotate down. So look to that back hand if you can. Rotate here, don't lock out those knees. Center. Nice with lots of rotation. Getting that digestion going. Beautiful, and rotate. Back to center, and rotate. Now once again, if you come flat out, you might be soaring off your knee more than your little toe, and that's okay. You just take it to where your body's feeling good today. And rotating down. Last one, back to center, and rotate. Walk those feet in for me. Come down, so I'm in this little position here. I'm going to both hands onto my right leg, left leg back, just little steps in and out, in and out. So it's that little step back and forth. Once again, you can use booty bands or anything like that to these moves as well. Let's go for three. But to be honest, you don't need it all today. We can just get a nice little heart rate burn and then we're going to bring it down to the mat for some more toning moves. And we're going to hold back here. Now see if you can lift that foot, tap and lift. So I'm working the stabilizing glute, balancing right here, lifting low. So focus on the ground the spot, use your eyes as an anchor. That's it, feel that glute working. Let's go for three, two, one. Can you hold it up? Press those hands into that leg, roll the shoulder blades back. Little pulses here. Oh, I'm feeling my balance working. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. And shift to the other side. We're staying down. That's it, step in and out. That's it, working to that little like chair squat. Shoulder blades are down. Ribs are in. Let's go for three, two, and that last one, we hold it back. We slightly shift the weight forward, tap and lift. Find that anchoring with the eyes. Find that something to fixate on that's not moving. Don't fix your eyes on a child, you probably will fall over. Tap and lift. Let's go for three, two, and on this last one, so you can hold up in little pulses. Working on that balance. Once again, you can use a chair if you need. That's it, because those little stabilization muscles are really having to work. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Bring it in, have a little reach up. Inhale, come down to a forward fold. Walk out those knees, stretching out the back of those legs. Feels good first thing in the morning. From here, I feel you lower yourself up, the heels come up, and we come into a little ball. See if you can raise your hands in front of you, shoulders down. So I'm just balancing on my toes. And just having a little balance here for three, two, one. Those hands are gonna come behind. Those legs are gonna come forward and come into a reverse bridge. Beautiful, and sweep it back down. So I'm just gonna hover. So here's me sitting. When you push into those hands, just a little hover. It's a little sweep up. A little sweep down, rocking on those heels. Sweeping up and rocking down. So it's a nice opener for the shoulders. But we're working that whole back body. And those triceps are working too. Let's go for three. Push up, squeeze the glutes here, get into a little table position. Two. And last one. See if you can hold it here for me. That's it, nice. See if you can walk through those feet. Hold up, bring it down. Up, so we're shifting the weight. Try to stabilize the pelvis. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Push it up, drop those glutes down, little tricep press here. So you can tricep press here with the glutes down, 
So try and squeeze those elbows close together. Or if you want a little bit more intensified, pick it up, tricep press here. Always want to work those triceps, get that upper body in as well. Beautiful, let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Sitting at the front, we're going to bring those arms around, tuck that chin in. Inhale, exhale out. From here, my feet are hip width apart, I'm going to come to that beautiful C curve and rock myself back. And bring it forward, inhale. Exhale, always got to fix your clothes up too when you need to. That's it, bring it in and rock it back. Shoulders down and away, rocking it forward, rocking it back. So here, I'm trying to keep that C-scoop, belly button pulls into spine as I rotate here. So I inhale, exhale, blowing all that air out to really contract those core muscles. Rock it forward, rock it back, hold here. Walk through those arms. So right now, if you need your little Pilates ball between the knees to help activate those inner thighs to work into core muscles, you're more than welcome. If I can feel the left and right shift as I move those arms. That's it, let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Bring it all the way forward, roll yourself slowly with control, all the way down. Walk those feet in slightly towards the glutes, the arms are still lifted. We're just going to do that little scapular release here. Because once again, it's always beautiful to work out first thing in the morning. You want to be kind and gentle to the body. You want to wake it up and get it all in nice and aligned. So I'm just lifting and lowering, and then I'm going to place those shoulders down to the mat. I'm going to think about sinking that ribcage down, making sure that pelvis hasn't rocked up. We want to keep working that neutral to get that core activation happening the whole time and stabilizing those hips. From here, let's just pick up one leg, pick up the other. All right, you might want to stay here today, or you might want to inhale. Without pressing that spine to the ground, you pick up one leg, pick up the other, staying in the neutral. Knees are over the hips, and tap here. So I'm just walking through, working that lower abdominals, which we always want to work. Often if, after you're having kids, this is a tough area to connect back into. So I'm really thinking about rib to hip connection, pulling belly button to spine, right here. Then you might want to add, let's do same leg, same arm, because I'm tricking you today. Making that brain work. Same leg, same arm. Once again, my arm only comes far back as that rib cage hasn't lost its connection. It's not flaring open. As soon as that rib cage flares open, you've lost that deep core connection. And that's not what we want. We want to keep that nice and connected. Beautiful. Let's go for three, two, and last one here. Hug those knees in. Now the spine's pressing into the mat. Feel the difference. Have a little rock side to side, just massaging that lumbar spine. Make some little circles if you like. Once again, we want to get that mobility in. We want to get that self-love and self-care in. There's so much more than to like exercising the body. It's exercising and rejuvenating the body. So that's what we want to do here with the Pilates and the movement. We want the body to feel nice and rejuvenated. So feet down. If you wish, you can keep the arms up that's harder or push those triceps into the ground. We're going to come to our hip hinges. So find that beautiful neutral and you want to hold that neutral. I'm going to keep my arms elevated. So we're going to lift up, squeeze the glutes, push it down. Once again, this is a move we should be doing every day. You don't need to load it with 20 kgs. You can really focus on that mind to muscle. I'm pushing through those heels. I'm getting here I'm in that nice plane right along. We can make it more challenging. This time we're going to hold it up. If you need to bring your arms down, bring them down. We're going to do that little walk like we did before here, trying to stabilize the glutes and walk through the feet here. Beautiful. So we're trying to not rock and roll through here. So if I just put my fingers on my hips, I'm trying to keep them even. And it's not that easy. That's it's a nice control. Let's go for three, two. Last one, hold up that left leg, bring the arms down, straighten up, legs down, toss up down, toss it. Once again, this is my weaker glute on the left, so I'm really trying to squeeze and lift up. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Lift it up, little pulses to the ceiling. Push and drive through that heel, that's it. Push and drive for three, two, one. Drop it down, pull that leg into that beautiful stretch. I'm going to inhale, exhale, not the chin, lift up. Straighten out that other leg, come into our scissors here. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. So once again, 
We have that little bounce to control it and work the abs and feel that beautiful stretch. I love this move. I really do. It's the stretching, the lengthening, the core's working. I'm trying to really use that upper body to lift that rib cage off the ground. The gentle tug and switch. Let's go for three, two, last one. Bring that left leg in, hold, bend the right, place those arms down, rock yourself down, and lift and lower here. Now this glute is a lot stronger, so I can feel that lifting and lowering it's a lot easier to get the height. Now the trick here, make sure those arms are in like a slight V and push through the triceps, palms down to the ground and push through. That's gonna help give you the height here. That's it, trying to swallow as I'm lifting up and down and breathing. Let's go for three, two, last one, hold up, flex and point, working through that ankle joint, working through those leg muscles. Make sure those shoulders haven't crept up to your ears as well. Let's go for three, two, last one. Point to the ceiling, little lifts up, little lifts up. That's it, really push through that glute, push through that heel. You should be able to pick up the toes on that grounded foot. Let's go for three, two, one. This time, lower the leg down, have that little stretch in, straight to the bottom. Now you can do what we did the first round, or if you want to pick it up, I'm going to inhale, it's a lift, float the arms, and scissor a little quicker here. So my palms are facing up, so my chest is nice and open. I'm trying to keep those legs nice and straight, and scissoring here. So it's a hard option, or we'll bring back the hands if you need. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Hug those knees in, or roll yourself on down, have that little rock. Make some little circles right there with your knees. Beautiful work. We're going to get a little bit more into that core because who doesn't love working in that core muscles? So, from here, I'm going to lift. Let's go back to that right leg. Lifting the right leg up. Hands are going to come behind the head. So, just kind of like slightly interlace your fingers, thumbs are down, and kind of just support the neck. You have a slight lift to the chin. Inhale, exhale, let's lift up. So, if you want to keep that leg bent, or we can have it straightened. At first, we're going to keep this leg down. So, I want that nice lift up. I'm going to rotate across and back. Rotating across and back. So if you want, you can keep the tabletop. Now, I want you to think about shoulder coming across, not so much the elbow. This is what it looks like if the elbow is coming across. This is shoulder. It's a lot more obliques. Beautiful. Let's add it in, leg extend. In, back to center. So if you want, we can lie down, come across. Lie back down, shoot that leg out long. Tuck and roll around and back. Okay, let's go for three. Two, last one, hold it here, reach that arm across the leg and pulse it up, up. This is really getting us to go right across. Beautiful, let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Place that leg down, rest the head, pick up the other leg, straighten it if you want to. Elbows in the peripheral vision, thumbs are gently down the neckline to help support. Inhale, exhale, tuck, chin, lift. And it's that rotate across to start off with and back to centre. So I'm not coming down here, I'm holding up and I'm just getting that nice feeling of the rotation. Now we're going to bend that knee. This time as we rotate, the knee comes in, we lengthen back out as we rest our head down. Lift up, lengthen out. Inhale, inhale here, then exhale as you come up. There you go. I'm going to remind myself to breathe, but I get to talk. So you guys get to breathe, I get to talk. So once again, it's the shoulder coming across, not so much the elbow. Really trying to lift that rib cage off. Let's go for three, two. Last one, we hold up here, we reach that arm, and we reach and reach. So lift up and reach. That's it, let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Placing that down, placing that head down. Let's just have a little stretch out here. So try to walk the hands and the feet away, just lengthening out that abdominal wall. Beautiful work. Now from here, if a roll-up is within your repertoire, we're going to do a roll-up. So I bring the arms here, so my hands are my vision, so I can sink my ribcage down. Legs are glued together. Inhale, exhale, peel it one bit at a time, and reach forward. Beautiful, restack the spine. Now if a roll-up doesn't feel comfortable for you, come back here. Because that's pretty much 
getting, helping you strengthen into that roll up position. Otherwise, let's do three roll ups together. So roll one vertebra down, nice, slow and control, really trying to articulate through the spine. Arms come up and over, inhale, exhale, peel off. So it should be able to be nice and slow, no rushing to get up. Reach, 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 reach forward. Then we reset the spine so we're nice and tall. Then we tuck that pelvis under, tucking that tailbone, roll, 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 shoulders down, nice, slow and control. Inhale, exhale. So amazing for abdominal strength and for our back. Reach, 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 tuck, look to your knees, and then reset the spine, nice and tall. Tuck, 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 roll on the last one here. Reach up, and how exhale. Reach and roll through, and restack. So we're gonna come in and just see the spinal twist. So we've done a bit of this in standing, let's do it sitting, feel the difference. Flex the feet up. If you've got tight hamstrings and cords, you feel it biting in the hip flexors, just bend the knees up. So otherwise, Feet flex, arms are out. We're gonna rotate one, two, and back to center. Inhale, exhale, back to center. Inhale, exhale. So you're trying to sit nice and tall, wringing out that belly button. I come back to center. Now if your hips are moving, you'll see your feet moving. That's why we flex them up to our feet, drive those legs into the ground. Inhale, exhale, back to center. Inhale, exhale, back to center. Let's do one more each side. Look to that hand, rotate to center, and then all the way back. Come into that nice little forward fold, tuck the chin, have a little stretch and rest right here. Inhaling, exhaling, roll yourself back on up, scoop your glutes to the front. Now we've warmed that spine up, warm those lower abdominals up, we're going to come into some rolling like a ball. So I'm going to bring my hands to the bottom of my shins, above my ankles, tuck my chin, now right here, let's practice balancing first. So come with those feet off, roll off the sit bones. So I've got that C curve happening right here. Inhale, exhale, it's a nice little control back and up. So I'm not flinging my legs to help me get up and down. Now I'm just checking that I'm rolling nice and evenly on my mat. So rolling back and rolling up. So once again, if you feel like you're rolling like that flat tire, just bring it back to that roll back. Just keep practicing that roll back. You're gonna get stronger. Be kind to yourself. Listen to where your body is at today. Our bodies are amazing. They do so much for us. They go through so much. And they hold on to a lot of stress and a lot of the tension that we might not realize. So we're just using this time to bring some self-love, some self-care, some gratitude, and listen to our body to what it needs. Beautiful. One more here. Roll it back. And as you roll up, see if you can come into a wee balance. Shoulders down and balancing here. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to bring those shoulder, shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades always come down. Bring those forearms down, legs are here. Little pedal pushes here. So flex the feet, push out. Once again, a great way to work those lower abs. This is even a good move to do when you're pregnant. You're just supporting yourself, supporting that trunk right here. So I'm in that nice neutral, and I'm just pushing away. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. And last one, bring it in, sit it back up. So from here, we're gonna come back into that position. Legs are nice and long. Let's come into a little turned out position right here. Make sure you're not dumping here. Think about that nice little flat, flat tabletop right there. Beautiful, from here, I'm in that little turned out position. I'm gonna lift my left leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, rotate into neutral, and lift here, that's a nice lowering lift, so we're activating the lower abs right here, and with that quad, let's go for five, four, three, two, one, hold, bend the leg in, glide it out, bend in, point, push out, in, bend, push out, nice, working that quad, working those lower abdominals, Let's go for three, two, and last one. Hold it there, turn it back at that turned out position. Little pulse is now a little higher. Lift a little higher, get that in the thigh. So have that turned out position and lifting up for five, four, three, two, one, and hold. For five, four, three, shaking, two, one, and place it down. Pick up the other legs, I'm back in that little turned out position of the hips, lifting and lowering. Trying to activate through the quad, 
nice strong straight leg. Once again, you can do this with some little light ankle weights if you like as well. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold, rotate to neutral. That's it. So it's back parallel, lowering and lifting, lowering and lifting. Make sure you haven't jumped here, you're still working that upper body. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. We lift up, drag out. Lift up, bend, drag out. Nice. Five more here. Four, three, two, and last one. Bring it back up, turn it back parallel, little back to those little pulses in that turned out position. How are you doing? Suddenly your legs start to feel very heavy. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Beautiful, lay yourself all the way back down and bring that left leg over and just have a little stretch, slight stretch of the glute right here. If you want, you can lift those hands as long as it's not pulling on the neck extensors. Nice work. We're gonna come and do a bit of back work, extension work, a bit of glutes, and then we're done. This has been a beautiful little wake up call for the body. So switching to the other side, so gentle push away here first with that hand, and then if you like, we'll loop through. This is my tighter side, but definitely feels like it needs a little bit more love. I'm to be careful of my neck. Inhaling and exhaling. Lovely, place that back on down. Bring that foot, roll yourself gently all the way onto your tummy. So I'm going to come face this way, it's probably the easy for you to see me. Beautiful. So coming down onto our tummies, Let's bring palm over palm, roll those shoulder blades back. From here, we're going to bring those legs in a turned out position on the edge of the mat. We're going to wake up those glutes a bit more. We're going to inhale, exhale, pick the belly button up off the ground, roll the shoulders back. I'm going to lift the left leg one, two, place it back down. Take it to the other side. One, two, place it back down. This time, we're going to do one, two, three, place it back down. We're trying to lift it a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. Let's go to four now. That's it, don't forget to pick the belly button up. Now really think about the glutes. We're isolating left and right glute. Now we're going for five. One, two, three, four, five. Place it down. One, two, three, four, five. Place it down. This is a great glute strength now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place it down. So feet are turned out so we can really get that lift, get that high, get that thigh off. Last one, place it down. Let's go for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place it down. Last one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place it down, bend the knees up, and push the heels together. Once again, think about pushing the hip bones to the ground, belly button up, shoulders down. Now really squeeze the heels together, it's heels prone squeeze. So the more you can push those heels together, the more you're going to activate through the inner thighs and into the glutes. We're going to inhale, exhale, lift the legs up, squeeze the heels. Bring it down, so we squeeze the heels first, and then we lift to activate and bring it down. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the heels, lift up. So we're strengthening the lower back here as well as the glutes. Lift up, shoulders down, relaxing through that head, squeeze the heels, lift up. One more time, inhale, exhale, squeeze the heels, lift up, hold here for me. You hold a little higher, a little higher for five, four, three, two, one. Extend the legs out, bring them in. So I'm keeping hovering those thighs off the ground. Point out, bring in. Point out, bring in. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Bring it down and relax those legs. From here, we're going to bring those arms into a goal post. My nose is just hovering. Belly button up, shoulder blades back. We're going to lift up and bring it down. And have exhale, lift up. So just the upper body's working. My gaze stays to the mat. Hovering those arms up, working that mid thoracic. This time, inhale, exhale, lift up, hold. Bring the arms forward and bring them back. 
So it's like a little lat pull. Stretch forward, bring it back. Stretch forward, bring it back. Let's go for five. Four, three, two. Feel those back muscles having to work. And last one here, and relax it down. Beautiful, how's that back feeling? It should be feeling nice and strong. All right, we're gonna come into our swimming. So I'm just gonna move a little bit back away from my wall. A little bit back away from my wall, a little bit more. All right, so our arms are reached forward. My legs are in parallel, so we're not in that little turned out position anymore. So swimming is just so good for our backs and our body. It's a great little cardio boost too. So our nose is gonna hover. Let's just start by first picking that belly button up, roll the shoulder blades back again, lifting opposite arm, opposite leg. Once again today, you might as well stay here. Just focusing on that nice lift and that stretch as you lift up. And now exhale, lift, stretch those fingertips and reach down. Now, you might stay here or if you wanna come with me, inhale, exhale, lift everything off the ground and swim. So we're pretending we're swimming in the Bahamas, a nice sunny day, gaze is on the ground, squeeze those glutes, shoulder blades down, but you're reaching the energy out through the toes and out through the fingers. Lift up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Now for any reason, if that's not comfortable on your breast or your tummy, for some reason, always come here. So once again, you might want to come here or let's take it into one more step. Inhale, exhale, belly button up, everything floats and swim. That's it, swim, 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 strengthen those back muscles, those posterior chain. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can you hold it up, lift a little higher up, Lift a little higher and hold. That's it, just hold for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Push back into your child's pose right here. The nice little stretch. Inhale, exhale, roll it all the way through into all fours. It's a little cat cow, so it's always nice, especially this first thing in the morning. Tuck the chin around the spine. Gentle release out, tuck the chin. Come and find that neutral, come into our wag our tail. So I'm in that nice little neutral box position. I look to my head as my hips come around, I try and look to my, my so right here I'm looking to my left butt cheeks, turning to left, but you're trying to keep it centered through here, so you're not doing this. So it's like a little doggy, you're trying to see your tail singeing at the hip. Let's singe the hip up to the elbow of the rib cage. That's it, pushing through those hands. Let's go for three, two, and last one, bringing it back to center. Stretch out that opposite arm, opposite leg. Check out our balance here. And bring it in. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Bring it in. This time I'm gonna bring it out. I'm gonna gently take it out to the side. Feel those obliques working. And bring it back in. Three times like this. Out to the side. Get that stability. And hold. Take it to the other side. Stretch out long. Reach it out. Reach it in. Reach it out. Reach it in. One more time. Out. Reach it in. Bring that back in. Tuck those toes back under. Shoot those glutes up to the ceiling. Come back to that little bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Slight bend in the knees. Tuck the chin. Roll it one vertebra at a time into standing. Let's reach those arms up. Inhale, exhale, just finishing off with some little walking out into our planks. Once again, if the plank doesn't feel comfortable for you, drop those knees, pipe those hips up, walk it back up. Inhale, exhale, roll through that spine. Nice big leech, slight little arch to the back. Arms come up, gaze comes up. Dive down to your swimming pool, walk it on out, get into that plank, drive those hips up. We've got one more after this and you're all done. Raise it up, inhale, exhale, dive it back down. Get into the plank and push it on up. Nice work, inhale, exhale. Roll those shoulders back down and away. Hope you're feeling really refreshed, revived, that body's nice and away to accomplish anything that you have today. So good on you for taking that time to get in tune with your body, listen to what it's needing, and give it some beautiful movement that's not stressful or taxing, but you are actually stimulating that metabolism, getting toned, and rejuvenating those cells 
and hopefully feeling fabulous. But thank you so much for joining me this morning, today, end of your day, whatever time it is for you. And I can't wait to see you back on the mat. And make sure you like, comment, share. I really appreciate this because I love doing this for you guys. It's just a passion for me. So I'd love some feedback and to hear from you. Take care. Wanna move my feet?